we think about the, this idea of a, of a commerce cloud. That's, that's the way we bring our technology forward to help our clients. There's four parts to it. One is design and everything we do in the user experience around design. And then there's cloud enabling our technology. There's connecting to our back office business systems. And then there's using the data and analytics uh, to drive business outcomes. APIs help us surface the technology capability, cloud enable our technology, helps us connect to our back office and really uh, isolate uh, the systems of record from the systems of engagement. And then API management also helps us bring our data and analytics forward and connect them into the experiences we're providing to clients. So our APIs are consumed by a, a breadth of con, you know, con consumers. Uh, we've got a very large internal contingent. So we're building new applications, um, internal developers using APIs that we've created. And this allows us to take the, the really great enterprise technology that we have and deliver new applications to our small and medium business customers. Great ease of use, simplified experiences, but powered by that, that great underlying technology. Uh, increasingly, we've got partners and partner channels taking our technology to market, making it part of client solutions, but using the API interfaces we provide to accomplish that. And we've got a growing ecosystem of third-party developers, you know, kind of more of a long tail uh, ecosystem building around the APIs, uh, developers coming in and using those capabilities to, to build out applications we didn't, we didn't think of. So the way API management has helped us accelerate delivery and reduce time to market, um, you know, there's four parts, as I said, to our commerce cloud, and one of these is the business system integration. And when we look at the way we were producing a SaaS application prior to our investments in API management and standardizing on one tool set, each time we would uh, integrate that one app to our back office, one app to the back. By building a common way to integrate applications to our back office, we've dramatically accelerated the speed to market and lowered the investment per product. The, the kinds of acceleration we've gotten from API management, we had programs that would have taken 18 months to get them to market. We now produce new SaaS applications in four or five months to get them to market. So three, four X faster uh, with API management. The prior internal development experience was um, if somebody wanted to use great math or great algorithms in a product, the first thing they had to do was figure out how to install that product and figure out what interfaces it had. It could have been in-process stuff. It could be all kinds of ways you had to go understand that technology. The, the, the after state is there's a clean site. Internal developers go to that site. They get provisioned against that capability, and they start, they start consuming it. We manage it in one place. Uh, with you know, sort of excellence across all the products. It's a huge acceleration for us. So one of the other interesting ways, uh, if you compare Pitney prior to API management and, and after, is in the way our partners view our um, level of uh, sort of technology competency. You know, before, if you're bringing very specific domain experts to the problem, it, um, it takes time to organize, it takes time to respond, it, takes, it, it, it really makes you look like a digital laggard. By having uh, APIs in place, uh, you're having a conversation around the technology and solving the problem much faster with partners, and they see you as a digital leader.